This short video should take you through some tips to help you prepare for your prelims and for your SQI exams. The study environment makes a huge difference for when you're studying, so here are some things that you should consider. Music. It has been proven that listening to music does not help the information go in, so you shouldn't listen to music and you should try and ensure that there's no background noise when you're studying. You should ensure that the room is well lit so as you can see what you're studying, that it's a good temperature, and also that you're sitting at a comfortable place, preferably at a table. So some study tips. Get rid of distractions. Starting off with those mobile phones of yours. Turn them off and give them to your parent or carer. Don't worry, the social media sites will still be there when you finish your studying. You should ensure that when you're studying that you focus 100% on the task and then you can take some time to relax when you're on your breaks. When you're studying, the time slot should be between 30 and 50 minutes long and never study for more than an hour without taking a break. Before you begin studying, you should be planning what you're going to study, what you want to achieve and what activities you're going to complete. When you're studying, you should ensure that your revision is active. Staring at your notes will not help the information go in. Throughout this month on Twitter, every week, we will share a video of different ways that you can study to help the information to go in. So study readiness. It's really important that you sleep well, that you eat well, that you stay hydrated with water, not energy drinks, that as well as studying, that you take the time out to do enjoyable activities and also take some time to exercise. Before you begin studying, it's really important to create a study timetable. So as you're organised to what days you're going to be studying each subject, whether it's in the evenings after school or at the weekends. You can screenshot this study timetable if this would help you. So when you're creating your study timetable, do not forget to consider things like when you're going to be sleeping. If you're going to be sleeping by 10 p.m., do not put study into your timetable at 10 p.m. Consider when you're going to be eating, showering, going to and from school. If you're in sixth year, you may have free periods in your timetable. Include these in your study timetable. Do not forget to consider supported study, clubs or teams, works, family commitments or social life when you're creating your study timetable. If you have any of these, do not put any study time during these times onto your study timetable. A lot of young people like to create a study timetable using their phones. So if you download the app SQA My Study Plan, you can input the times and the dates when you would like to be doing your study. All the best in your prelims and in your exams as well.